So in this video, we're gonna explain how to get wiring, landscape wire, through a downspout and out into the landscape. The reason we do this is so you can actually light up a second story um, without seeing the wire. The reason we actually go through the downspout so you don't have to zip tie to the downspout itself. So you could do this at home. You need basic tools, preferably two people, one to hold the ladder, one for you know the person going up the ladder. Okay, tools needed. Obviously a ladder. I use what's called racketeers. You can actually purchase these from the company Racketeer um, just to hold my spool of wire. I'm using 12-2 landscape wire, um, a trowel or small shovel, wire strippers, a drill, and I use what's called a unibit, which is a stepper bit. They also call them stepper bits. Okay. Um, then I use an old socket which I'll show you what I use that for. All right, first thing. Come over, you're gonna move your mulch out of the way here. Keep the mulch out of the way of your dirt so when you start you know, digging your hole, you're not contaminating your mulch so that way you can, it'll look really nice when you're finished. So depending on the, the way the house is built um, and the drains, this one here is actually kind of shallow. So it just makes a 90 right here. So what I'm gonna wind up doing is probably just putting my hole right here, which is probably about an inch or so, maybe two inches lower than the mulch. I like putting in a little bit bigger hole just so it's easier to grab the wire out once you drop it down. Another tool that you would need is some type of magnet. Um, they're all different kinds. I have telescopic, um, I have like a worm style. Um, they come in all different sizes. You can get them at your auto parts store or at Home Depot. Um, these here, this one's a smaller one. You know, lots of people have these around the house. Um, but you know, this one's a, a worm style. Um, but we'll show you what we use that for here in a few seconds. So first thing you want to do, this is where we use our socket. Okay. Take a socket. It's open on both ends. Take your wire strippers. Okay. And what I normally do is I kind of make it a long, I, I strip it kind of long here. Um, and I'll show you the reason why I do that. So you're going to pull these off. So one of them, I strip longer than the other, okay? And what I do here is I take my socket, I run it through there, okay? Until it hits the bottom. Then what I do is I'll start wrapping this around. So basically what I'm doing here is basically giving this a weight to drop down. Okay, so see how that's kind of weighing right there? This will allow me to drop this all the way down through that downspout. Now the next thing, what you're gonna to wanna to find out is if they have gutter guards or not and what style gutter guards. There's tons of different styles. Sometimes you'll need a nut driver to get some of them off. Sometimes you can just kind of press them and pop them off. It really depends on the style of gutter guard because there's a ton. So that's something you want to find out because you might have to do that before you take all your tools up there and whatnot. Something you want to do is make sure that someone's holding the ladder as you go up. Um, you never want to try to do this alone. Okay, this one here doesn't have gutter guard, which is gonna make this a lot easier. So what I do 
once I take this and it kind of has a natural bend to it. So I try to make the bend go with the bend of the gutter. How do you know you hit the bottom? It should stop. So right now, as I have this right now, it feels like I'm probably there. Um, so what I'm gonna do is have someone take a look at it and find out where it's at. Okay, so now that the wire is down here with the uh, socket on the end of it, we're gonna try to use this, the magnet to try to pull this out. I like the little small tele telescopic one. I just brought the other ones just to show you guys. Um, now, when you're doing this, um, this is actually a little bit too far. So we're gonna have to pull this. So give me just a second. All right, drop it back down a little bit. Oh, hold on. Okay, go up, keep going. Okay, right there. Okay, so this one here actually is gonna be pretty easy. I don't know if I'm even gonna to have to use the magnet. I can actually feel this. Um, see how I have it coming out there, just like that. Okay. I'm gonna pull on it, Jen. And my wire is out. So now what we do is we'll silicone this hole up. So I'll show you how to do that here in just a second. So the caulk I like to use, um, it's ultra clear. Um, it's made by DAP. You can buy it at Home Depot or wherever. Um, it's really nice, but you, you can apply this wet. Um, you can apply it when it's cold. You can apply it when it's hot. Um, and it doesn't actually fully harden. So it kind of stays a little bit gooey, which is really nice for you know, if you ever have to redo something, you can, it's easy for you to, you know, take it off and redo it if you need to. It has a really nice adhesive in it, so you can do it like this um, with a big hole. So that way when it doesn't have an issue with falling through, um, like other caulks would have um, where they would fall through the hole because there's nothing there to kind of back it up. Um, some people would ask, how are we running electric through a water downspout? Well. That's a good question. So this is actually low voltage. Um, and this wire is actually direct burial wire. Um, this wire could actually be laid in a, a bed of water. Um, you could put it in a pond. Um, it's not gonna cause any issues. Um, now your um, full electrical wire, like your in, indoor electrical wire, obviously you would not be able to do something like this. They make certain wires with a certain coating that's able to do this. Um, and for instance, this is. This is 12-2 direct burial. Um, it can be in the ground, it can be in the water, it can be exposed to the sun, and it's not gonna hurt it. The way I did this with the, you know, running the, the, the end down, um, it's a lot easier to fish that way. Um, with this being, you know, on my spool still, we're gonna leave this because we're gonna be able to run this to our light where we're gonna be mounting our light. It's just a whole lot easier than trying to pull up through the downspout. Um, they do make fish rods and things like that. This here is the easiest way I've found because um, it'll just drop all the way down and use gravity to do it. Um, so you don't have to, you know, try to fish rods and things like that. So if you have a gutter guard, um, First off, you wanna take that take that off so you can get to the downspout. Um, with the gutter guards, um, normally people ask, you know, so what are you gonna do with the wire, you know, as it runs down the gutter? Um, a lot of times I will use a fish rod at that point. 
so I'll I'll put a fish rod so I don't have to take the whole gutter guard out if it's you know a 12 foot span if I gotta get the wire down there I'll I'll fish it I'll maybe get down you know say you know 12 foot down I'll take the gutter guard off down there and that way the the wire can just lay in the gutter and then I can just pull my end out that I need make my connection and you know tie I, I normally keep my connections up out of the water um, so what I'll do is I'll tie them to a brace a gutter brace um, I'll just zip tie it to it. But yes, with a gutter guard, and then we can mount the gutter guard back like we weren't even there.